Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at an otoscope camera that's made for your smartphone or a laptop. So what this is for is to look at eardrums mostly at the comfort of your home so you wouldn't have to go to the doctor to see if you got maybe an ear infection. So in this video we're going to unbox it, look at all the functions and connect it to a device and see how it works. So let's get started. Alright, so I got this from Amazon from a company called Teslong. And this is how it comes in in this little box. So it's not very large. Let's go ahead and open it up. So here we're greeted with some information. So we got adjustable LEDs, we got waterproof, IP67, and we have USB interface. So it looks like we have quite a few pieces in there. So for the main part here is the scope itself. Wow, I like the size of this, it's very nice. So the body here is all metal, it feels very high quality. So here we can see the Teslong branding, and in the front, you can see right there, it's very tiny, but it is LED lights and the camera right in the middle of that. So this is a very, very compact scope here. So it looks like we have a pretty generous amount of cable here, and a nice little silicon strap. So it appears to be about five feet in length. So at the end of the cable, we have this little plug here. And what's unique about it is it's multi-purpose. It could be a USB. And if you flip it up, it is a micro USB. So if you're going to plug it straight into your phone, you can use that. Or if you're going to plug it into the computer, you can use the normal USB plug. And here in the box, we also have an adapter to USB-C, which a lot of phones and even computers now except USB-C. So you would simply plug this in here and then you can plug into the USB-C. So it's got all the options covered for all devices. So here we have little ear funnels is what it looks like. Not sure exactly what you would call this but it's an adapter that the scope goes into just like that. And what that enables you to do is go into the ear very smoothly you know without any kind of discomfort so here we have another capsule and in this capsule it looks like we have a lot of little tools and so there's four little scoopers and so what they're for is to scoop out ear wax and you know things like that in your ear or maybe in your nostrils but that just simply goes over the top just like that and you can slide it down as deep as you want it that way you're closer to the camera or farther away you can fine tune that and they also include three alcohol pads here. And I think these are mostly to disinfect the scope here and the little cup attachments here. And obviously we also have a user manual if you need some help with connecting or using the scope. So one of the things I haven't talked about is in the middle of this wire, there is a little dial here and that is for the light. And you can make that brighter and you know dimmer according to how much light you need. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to connect the scope to my phone here. Now, something to note is that not all phones are able to connect, but most of them will. Now, if you have a Samsung Galaxy, I'm not sure about the newer ones, but the older one here, the S7 Edge here, it comes with an adapter in the package with the phone. And this is the adapter that you're going to need in order to connect. I know the Google phones don't need that, the ones that have USB-C. And probably most newer ones don't, but just keep in mind that, you know, your phone might require some kind of adapter. Also, you will need an app to actually view the scope. So the one I got in here is called OTG View. You can see right there. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And this is what it looks like. So it's a very simple app. So right now it's just telling us to connect to our scope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the scope into this adapter and then I'm going to plug the adapter into my phone. So here it's asking me if I want to use this by default. I'll just say OK. And then we're going to click the pair button here on the side. And there we go we're actually running now. So the scope is working right now, but if you can see there, we don't have any kind of light. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist this thing, and you can see we have light now. So it's kinda hard to see guys, sorry, it's all so tiny, but you can see that the light does come on. And that's the brightest, and that's the lowest, till off. So I'm just gonna set it on a medium setting. So somewhere in between, should be good enough. Out of curiosity, let's just look at this table real close. And you guys can see 
how close that is. You can actually see the wood grains. But yeah, it seems to be a very good quality camera here. All right, so let's grab one of these little cups here and we're gonna put it on the end. Also guys, something to note is that the orientation of the camera, like which way is up, is just one of these ridges here. So it's either one or the other. You'll just have to see as you're looking at it. And the reason that's important is because when you do go in your ear, you kinda, you know, if you need to go up a little or to the side a little each way, you kinda wanna know which way is up and down. Cause if you're like in there sideways, you know, you're gonna try to go up, but you're gonna go the wrong way, if that makes any sense, so. All right guys, so for the next part, I'm actually gonna put this thing in my ear. So if you're easily grossed out, maybe you should skip this part. <laughs> so this is made for the ear, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try it out. So I'm just gonna let you guys look at the video there. And you can see right there is my eardrum. And all that yellow stuff you see guys, that's ear wax. So here you can look at the eardrum. And when you do your whole eardrum and around it is going to be all ready pink and stuff like that. But you can do your research online and see, you know, what you're looking for. But this would be great for uh, checking, you know, kids ears and things like that. So. And as you can see guys, that was very, very easy and very comfortable. Like this piece right here is very smooth at the end. So there was no kind of embraceiveness in my ear. It was very, very easy. So this would be great on kids too. So, all right guys. So we see that it works on our phone here, which is great. Let's go ahead and try it out on the laptop. That way, you know, if you for some reason can't get it to work on your phone and you do have a laptop or a computer, you could still use this. And I forgot to mention, guys, that you can take pictures and videos, you know, with this thing. So you can save them if you wanted to, I guess. All right, guys. So I do have a MacBook Pro here. And that's the laptop we're going to be using. So I'm not sure exactly how this will go for Windows. But for Mac here, we're going to go to Photo Booth. So once you get in the photo booth and your camera, your front facing camera comes on, you're gonna come to this icon here that says camera. You're gonna click on here and your scope should be showing up right here. And ours says right here, test long camera. So we're gonna click on that. And now our scope is working. And so here you can see the close up of the speaker that I'm looking at right now. And you can see the detail. And here we're just gonna look at a port, a USB port. So as you can see guys, you can use this for not just eardrums, you can, you know, diagnose stuff and, you know, look at, if you wanted to look at something really close, you know, you can have a really good look at that. And having a much bigger screen is also kind of nice because you can see a little better of what's going on. All right guys, and that is the Teslong Autoscope. So it's a great tool to have around the house for sure. And as you can see, you could use it more than just ears if you wanted to. But just for ears, it's worth it, especially if you have children. And oftentimes, you don't know why they're so cranky. You could check their ears real quick and see if they have kind of infection or anything going on in there. So overall, guys, a big thumbs up for the scope. As you can see, it's very compact, very easy to use and connect. And you can just about use any device to connect it to. So if you guys want to pick up one of these, I'll leave some links in the description. Check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, then hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this and other things I do on this channel, I do a lot of reviews. And you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And also check out my other videos if you want to see more. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.